In this video, I will solve some questions related to volume of a prism. The questions are from D1 exercise 14b and we are going to find the volume of prism in that. Now, first of all, what is a prism? A prism is a shape that has uniform polygonal cross section. Uh, its end base, the top base and the bottom end is same like I will give you the example like here. Suppose this is a file. If you will observe, let us suppose this base is suppose it is a, it is a triangle. Now, this is also at the other end, this is a triangle on the other side of it. So, we have same ends mean this end and this end is exactly the same. Secondly, uh, if you will take cross section, if you will suppose cut it from anywhere, then the cross section will exactly be the same. So, we have a polygonal, we have a polygon here that is a triangle. And if you will take cross section at any point, the cross section will be uniform, the faces are flat, here the base and here the base is a polygon and they are identical, it is a triangle, similarly this one is a triangle and the distance between the bases like this base and this base, this distance, sorry, this distance is basically the height of prism. Okay, now question number 1 from exercise 14b D1 O level math volume of prism part A. Now, this shape is given and this is a prism. Now, in prism you need to identify the base at first. Basically, volume of prism is equal to base area into height. I mean you will multiply your base area, you will multiply the area of base of prism with the height will give you volume of prism. Now, in this case you need to identify the base and we have to observe that which shape is traveling throughout the length of the prism. Now, this shape which is a trapezium in this case, I am going to share it, this is a trapezium. Now, this trapezium shape, now it is uh, at the it is at the front side also and you will also find it at the back end of it mean here. You will also see that this is also present at the other end. So, you have identical uh, ends this end and the back end is identical. So, this is your base. Now, volume of prism is base area which is prism which is trapezium in this case multiply by height, height is the distance between the top I mean the front base and the back one or distance between the two bases though this is the height of prism. Uh, so, what is the base area? Because base is a trapezium, so a base area will be area of trapezium into height. Area of trapezium is h by 2 into sum of parallel sides. Now, h mean height of trapezium, now height of trapezium is 46, height is basically the perpendicular distance, this height is the perpendicular distance between the parallel sides of the prism. So, height is 46, 46 by 2, sum of parallel sides means 75 and 59 are parallel sides, so sum of parallel sides into 120, 120 is basically height of prism, the distance between this base and this base is 120. So, simplifying this one 75 plus 59 will give you 134, 134 multiplied by 23 and 3082 multiplied by 120. So, the volume of prism will be 369840 centimeter cube. Now, question number 1 part B, now this shape is given, this is a prism and you need to identify which is base in this case as I have told you that base will be the shape in a prism which will be present at the one end as well as at the back end. So, this shape is traveling all along the length of the prism, it is present on the front as well as you will also find it on the back side of it as I have given the example of the file. So, this one is the base. 
no we need to basically divide we need to find the basically area of this base okay because volume is area of base into height of prism prism okay now the height is as i have told you height is the distance between this base and the base at the end point so distance between the two bases is height of prism and this is your base now how to find the base area i am dividing this base in two shapes by drawing this dotted line over here now this shape is rectangle and this one is trapezium so area of rectangle is length into width so area of base is divided into area of rectangle which is length 18 into width 16 so 18 into 16 will give you this area and then you will add this area which is trapezium right light here so trapezium area is h by 2 this is height of trapezium h by 2 into sum of parallel sides now this side and this side these two sides are parallel sides and the distance between them is the height of trapezium now i know the parallel sides one side is 7 and the other side is 18 the parallel sides so these are sum of parallel sides 18 plus 7 h by 2 now how i have obtained h basically this total height was 28 and i subtracted 16 from 28 to get 12 now 12 over 2 here 18 plus 7 is 25 this 38 is the height of prism height of prism is the distance between the front face that is base and the end one that is 38 so simplify this one 18 into 16 plus uh, 12 divided by 2 is 6 and 6 into 25 is 150 18 into 16 is 288 uh, into 38 now first of all solve this bracket we need to first of all simplify the terms within the brackets so 288 plus 150 is 438 438 into 38 is 16644 centimeter cube this will be the volume of this prism the part c of this question is we have been given this shape now this shape is a prism the reason is that its front end and the back end will be same like this one this shape and if you will take cross section at any point you will find the same front shape at every cross section so this is the property of a prism now in this case this is the base i am shading my base here like this now you need to find the area of this base because area of base multiply by height of prism the distance between the two bases which is height will give you volume now the area of base will be calculated by dividing this shape in three shapes i considered this one one rectangle this one is second rectangle and this one is the third rectangle by dividing the shape into three rectangles i will find its area so area of this rectangle is 9 by 3 9 by 3 this rectangle plus 9 the, from here to here into 5 the area of this rectangle 9 into 5 plus what is the area of this one now this is 3 this one is 3 into 8 how from here to here it was 9 and from here to here it was 6 so 9 minus 6 will give you 3 this one is 3 and what about this one i have mentioned here that it is 8 okay from here till here okay now this total is 16 16 minus 5 will give you 11 and 11 minus 3 this one will give you 8 so this one is 8 so 8 into 3 will give you the area of this small rectangle the smallest one this one adding all these areas will give you area of this base into the height of prism which is the distance between front and the end these the front end and the end one is identical that is the base of prism 
Now simplifying this one, 9 3 times 27, 9 5 10, 45, 8 3 times 24, adding them and multiplying by 10, you will get 960 centimeter cube as area of this prism. So the next shape that is part D, question number one, exercise 14 B D1 O level math is this one. Now this is a prism. Again, the reason is same. This front face, which is a trapezium, this face is traveling all along the length and it is also present on the back end. Front end and the end one will be the same. And, uh, and if you take cross section, the so cross section will exactly be the same like this one. So, this is the property of prism. Now, this shape after identification that this is the base, now I need to find its area and as this shape is trapezium, so area of base will be area of trapezium because my base here in, in this prism is a trapezium. And what is the height? Now, this one is the height, the distance between the front and the front base and the end one, this distance is 12. So, area of base into height will give you volume, area of base is area of trapezium into height, this one. Now, area of trapezium is h by 2 sum of parallel sides, h is height of trapezium which is given as 6 the perpendicular distance between parallel sides indicated by arrows. So, h by 2 is 6 by 2 into sum of parallel sides mean these this side and this side which are parallel will be added this is 18 this is 18 and this is 14. So, 18 plus 14 into height of prism which is 12 the height of prism will be from this front end and the end one because this one is base and this the another base will be right here at the end. So, the distance between identical bases or the two bases which we are considering uh, this one and the end one which is 12. So, multiplying 18 plus 4, 18 plus 4 will give you 32, 32 into 3, 3 comes from 6 divided by 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 3 into 32 is 96, 96 into 12 is 1152 centimeter cube. And the last shape that is E part question number 1 exercise 14b is this one looks complicated uh, looks threatening but it is not ok. Now, how we are going to solve this first of all identify the base. Now, as the I have mentioned that base is the shape that is traveling all along the length from start till end it will be present everywhere if you will take cross section you will find the same shape as the front base ok. Now, in this case this top is the base because if you will observe this top is penetrating all along the length of the or the height of the prism. So, this is my base of prism and I have two shapes here one is rect angle and the other one is triangle a right triangle. So, this is base and I will multiply this base area with this height. So, I will be able to find the volume now this height is given as 5 here in this case this height which is 5 ok. Now, area of base will be area of rectangle plus area of triangle into height which is 5 height of prism mean the distance between the top base and the bottom one and other base will be at the bottom. So, area of rectangle is 13 into 10 plus area of triangle will be half base into height base is 8 and height is 6 from here these two are identical into height of prism is 5 from the top end and the bottom end the distance between the this base and the base at the other end 13 into 10 is 130 8 6 times 48 divided by 224 130 plus 24 154 154 into 5 which is the height of prism will give you 770 centimeter cube as the volume of this prism. So, I will upload the next lesson about the same chapter. I will upload all the lessons on D1, D2, D3, D4 but it will take time. So, subscribe the channel to get updates on all the solutions of these. Thank you so much.